Hello, my dear friends, brothers, and sisters. Welcome to day 129 of this podcast with the Bible through the year. My name is Leo Lozano, Associate Pastor at Revive GMC in Pasadena, Texas. Today we are reading John 2, verses 13 to 22. I'm reading from the New Living Translation, but you may join me from whatever translation you have before you. The important thing is here we are, one more day, hitting play and reading the scriptures. And my prayer is that we will spend a few minutes throughout the day just meditating on the word before us. In doing so, we create a space for the Spirit of the living God to speak to our hearts. So with that in mind, let us go together to the Bible. It was nearly time for the Jewish Passover celebration. So Jesus went to Jerusalem in the temple area. He saw merchants selling cattle, sheep, and doves for sacrifice. He also saw dealers at tables exchanging foreign money. Jesus made a whip from some ropes and chased them all out of the temple. He drove out the sheep and cattle, scattered the money changers' coins over the floor, and turned over their tables. Then going over to the people who sold doves, he told them, Get these things out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a marketplace. Then his disciples remembered this prophecy from the scriptures. Passion for God's house will consume me. But the Jewish leaders demanded, What are you doing? If God gave you authority to do this, show us a miraculous sign to prove it. All right, Jesus replied, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. What? they exclaimed. It has taken 46 years to build this temple, and you can rebuild it in three days? But when Jesus said this temple, he meant his own body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples remember he had said this, and they believed both the scriptures and what Jesus had said. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. All right, so... Very important, right? I love how this image is more than what people make it to be. Uh, a lot of times I see people, you know, that talk about this and all they can see is, oh, he was mad, right? Jesus was angry and like, sure, but but why? Why was he oh, so angry about this? And I see more people trying to use this verse as an excuse for like whenever they get angry and it's like well jesus got angry too but it's like <laughs> but no the, like the why matters a lot here right jesus was angry because they turned the house of god a house that was meant to be for prayer for worship a place of connection between the people and their god and they yeah they made it to be just like this this um, this place for business. And there's nothing wrong with the activity itself. Selling, buying, exchanging. Those are, those are like good things. But this is not a place for this activity, right? And that's the problem, right? That in them making this a place for business, then they... That, that place was no longer available for worship, which that was its purpose, right? And so, because they came and utilized that space for this one activity, automatically no other activity could take place. And that's what made Jesus furious because this was a place of connection. This was a place of worship. This was a place where they could come and feel safe and feel loved and look in awe to their maker but but no they decided to use it for something way more mundane right not holy at all and and that's why jesus was angry and in him you know Taking them out of there, you know, in in this exercise of Jesus pushing them out, he made that space available again for its intended purpose, for people to come and worship, come and pray. So he restored the original purpose of this holy place, right? And at the end, we see... Well, we always see these these men that were supposedly the ones who knew God better, just not knowing him at all, right? Missing the point completely. When Jesus speaks of temple, all they can think of is, you know, 
brick and mortar, right? All they can think is building. And he's like, nah, no, 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 this, that's not what makes a temple, right? And so, yeah, my, my prayer for us today is that may we honor the spaces that God has given us to seek him, to engage with him, to have encounters with him. Thank you for joining me today, and I cannot wait to be back with you tomorrow.